Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to again to talk about Q and A's. And Eugene and Pishek they had an excellent Q and A on the Discord again today. They had it in the game discussion for English, and they also had it in one of the local chats for Russian. And、um, we got tons of questions answered in both the English and the Russian one. And I'm actually going to go through all the questions. And I probably ask, do you speak Eng- <laughs> do you speak Russian? And no, I don't speak Russian. But I have a dear friend on Discord called Askrim, and he translated all of them for me and gave me them directly in my DM. So again, t- thousand thanks to Askrim for translating all the Russians to me. Should we get started? Let's go. Let's go. So we go with the English first. So first of all, Victor Lyon got the first question. Well, got the first question answered. Let's say it that way. I don't know if you saw it or not, but I'll repost my first question. Here's my first question: <laughs> How will the game be? Game deal with storytelling and quest? Will it be likely? Will it be early? Wow. Where each quest has its own storyline, and you just move from one quest line to another, or will it have a regular campaign like more modern MMOs? And Eugene answers: There will be a main quest and a lot of other storylines similar to WoW, but we're adding non-linearity and various endings. That various ending sounds very interesting, also a bit dangerous. I mean, it's a MMO. How can you have an ending in an MMO? But again. Sounds cool. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. I like it. Law is nice. I love law. I love law. Crimson. Are there going to be other means of transportation similar to the train, as in other forms of public transport to give other places? And Yuji answers. Crimson. On transport, there will be mounts, taxis, and circulating transport-like trains. Pretty cool. Oh. So Yinsen was posing this very long, well, long questions. And everyone was like, "Oh, don't quest, don't post so many questions at the same time." And Eugene, he was just like, "I'm gonna take them all." <laughs> and he was like, "Okay." So Jensen first answers, "Will player characters' abilities cost resource or just have cooldown timers?" And he answers to that, "Cooldown and mana." Are most items unique, or are they randomly generated using an item level system? And randomly gener- generated, but guided random. Okay, what are what is the player cap on raiding? Still working on that. How will turning on PP off on when you can be targeted by other players? Turning off PP mode is basically just so no one accidentally hit you, but you can still be targeted even though you turn it off. Will repeatedly killing the same player trigger on a point diminishing returns? Sure, there will be exploit preventers as such, so you know, so you don't just can kill the same guy seven times, and he and he has to lock off because you're just farming him. So they're trying to make something that can stop it. What are the player caps in arena battlegrounds? Two versus two, ten versus ten. We're still working on them, but there would be various kinds of them. I think they already confirmed on the FAQ we're getting one versus one, two versus two, three versus three, but we don't know any more of that. Quasi Moto, is it confirmed that the four base abilities, QBR abilities of a hero, are permanent, or will it be able to upgrade or replace them with hero-specific skills as we progress in the game? On abilities, yes, yes, you will have a total of fifteen abilities, and most of them. Are from artifacts and weapons. Okay, well, he says that you can get abilities from artifacts and weapons, but he didn't say the, with the four base abilities. But we have got that confirmed before that those four abilities is depending on the spec. So each of your specs in the game have four base abilities,、um, and you have three specs on each. Well, you have three, three specs on each hero. Mash. Only one question. Is an, is an option for VSD movement planned in development? And Mash, we don't have plans to do VSD movements. I know a lot of people is actually asking for this, but a lot of people is also saying no thanks. So I don't think it will be implemented. Estel, 
Everyone prepared for this Q&A together with the Polish community and people from the Core Punk Discord. We have gathered some questions for you and I, I hope we'll get some answers. So I'll start from the beginning of the list. If there's gonna be any additional system event happen, happening night only, on night mobs, we thought about spawning different mobs at night, but it's, it is not confirmed yet. We like the ID. It's pretty cool, like dying light. We can change between the free specs all the time, or if it's cost, will be way to reset points invested in the different talent specs. And p answers. Estel, you can reset points invested in talents. You will, you will be able to switch between the free specs but to have all three specs on one hero won't be easy task. Wow. Okay, so you probably can start with choosing maybe one spec on your hero, but then every time you wanna unlock a new spec like permanent, you probably have to do something really hardcore. <laughs> okay, interesting. I still hope it's like something that everyone is able to get, and not like, nah, I'm not able to get the third one because I'm not good enough. Like. So, blush. Have you ever had to sacrifice a nice, a future you really, really didn't want to give up to keep game and budget or meet a deadline? And then Eugene answers, on sacrificing futures, a ton. So, I mean, so yeah, Eugene has to sacrifice a lot of things, but I mean, they pre pretty much probably come back. I mean, he had to sacrifice them now because they have too much to do, and then they will, they will always come back. You know, they will always be back. Astol, the starting locations are separated by factions or by heroes? And he answers Astol, on starting location, it is more about factions than heroes. Hmm. I think, personally, I think all the heroes are going to start the same place, like the first moment they get in. And then you probably have to choose which faction you want to go with and quest with because it didn't look like in the character creator that you actually had to choose a faction but again i don't know but he's saying here that it's more about a faction so that's pretty interesting victor Lion, do you guys plan on adding linux support and if not will the game make use of tools like eac that often break playing on linux through wine we would love to have a build on linux but right now we focus on win a primary build we can do it easily in theory but in practice there's a lot of details linux i haven't heard about anyone playing on linux but i guess that's cool then you can basically make a free pc you know free when i say free without a windows you don't have to pay windows quasimoto will i drown in the ocean if i don't use life jacket in the quest in the trailer on swimming, no, you can freely swim everywhere. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. High five for that. On artifacts, there is a rarity and rare items give higher stat. There's soft cap, hard cap, and diminish diminishing on some stats. Okay, it sounds a bit like destiny. So in the start, you get a lot of good items until you hit like the soft cap or the, so the hard cap and then it gets like harder to get items interesting so yes so i wanted to ask if raids are going to be super hard like wildstar wow or are they going to be casually so everyone can clear it even on the highest difficulty on raids difficult raid content is inspired by classic wow a lot it won't be easy mm Hmm like it quasimoto how big of role does active ability artifacts play in core punk are they complementary and less important like in league of legends or do they serve as actually strong abilities could you give an example the active abilities on artifacts will play a significant role but of course they will not be as strong as the main hero's abilities also, if you choose an artifact with active abilities, then you sacrifice some other stats on this artifact. Make a decision wisely. So pretty much he's saying that, well, you can take the passive one and then you get stats, or you can take the active one and sacrifice stats. 
So if you are if you are able to like manage 15 abilities, let's say you have all active. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm probably a guy who, who likes to have passive. Astral, what is your take on Fog of War? Are there gonna be bushes like in League of Legends? Hate difference, limiting visions? You know, mm -hmm. we don't have such plans. Bushes is nice feature for MOBA games with small map, but for the MMORPGs open world, they're not a good solution. I can respect that. Stashera. Good evening. On previous Q&A sessions, we told you a uh, discussion about adding a summoner hero to Kompong. Any decisions about this? Not asking for spoilers, but at least a little hint. <laughs> and she she used my dwell in emote. Pretty cool. Um, Eugene answers on summoners. We don't want to spoil anything. Okay, I'm still hoping for a guy with bow and arrow and can summon a wolf, like a real hunter with a wolf. That could be so cool. Are there going to be artifact sets like you get free of the set and get a bonus stat? Oh, like in World of Warcraft with set bonus and all that. That could be so cool. Yes, we will have sets with bonus stats and not only stats. Okay, so you can get a bonus active ability. That's cool. Madam J, hey, will the game be traditional in locking in your character role? For example, if you choose tanked, that is what you are, or can you switch? On class locking, specs will al well, on class locking, specs will allow to dramatically change your hero's behavior. It will be easier to start with a new character, but for folks who like to push their char to the limit, you can get most skills in all three specs. Okay, so it would be easier to create a new one and just, you know, have one character for heal and one character for tank. But if you really push it, for folks who like to push the char to the limit, you can get most skills in all three specs. Interesting. Kui, do you have, a, have to click for every move or can you simply hold mouse? one to move on clicking you can click each time or you can press and hold the mouse well it's pretty yeah important we know that we will have four cultures in the game are these cultures enemies will we have to try will we have a choice of faction on factions our cultures are not at war but smaller factions can be. You can join them uh, or their foes along your quest lines and pick up yourself whom to help. Okay, so you don't have to choose a faction, but you can quest for anyone you want and do whatever. You know, you can pro you probably get like choices and quests. Nymphs. Will it be rewarding to the PKs with player killers? There's a lot of punishment to it. And as of now, I don't see much of being a player killer at all. Some kind of a point system with chosen rewards or drops. What will drive people to get involved in open world PvP? And Pishak answers, Karma system was introduced to protect weak players from gangs. We do not want to encourage the killing of the weak. However, PvP with your equal level opponent will be encouraged, encouraged through the honor point system. You can get the strongest artifacts through PvP. And it's very important to say here that I misunderstood when he said this. It sounded like he said that you can get the strongest artifacts from PvP, like only PvP. But he, he actually don't say that. He's, he just says that through PvP. And of course he means that, well, you can, you can get the strongest artifacts through PvP. So you can just do PvP, but you can also do, of course you can also get the best in PvE. We, we, got, it, we got it actually complete. Um, told late on but it's just so you know that it's not only pp you can get the strongest through but i was like what no 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 you should also be able in pve but ho hopefully yeah good we also get it from pve so don't panic ho ho and i had a funny question i said can i play like the witcher with a sword and dark magic you know the witcher is a bit dark because he's a demon or whatever you would say and p answered me um he actually answered me on another question about that one um 
I just sent that one and then he answered. But I actually asked him, um, you can see the, in the bottom of, bottom of the screen, you have this little round icon that is, um, you can see in the bottom right now, there's like this round icon that switches depending on the hero we are on. And he actually answers on that one. I just got the wrong image. But he's saying one of the magician's specializ specializations is fire. Its unique mechanics is that every time he casts abilities, he heats up. If he heats himself up to 100%, then the magic magic magician starts to burn and does LE damage around himself. But the magician also takes his damage. While the magician burn, his skills become much stronger. Wow. So again, the question you see above is not the question he actually answered on here. It was just, he answered on me a question that was long, longer way up. Um, so it was an old question he answered on. Um, but I just basically asked, what is that mechanic in the bottom? What, what does it do? And here he basically says, so if you've played as fire mage, and if you get up to 100%, then you overheat, you, you get stronger, but you also take fire damage yourself. So it's like you're sacrificing yourself for killing something. So it's pretty cool that we know this mechanic in the bottom in the middle of the screen is actually something. It does something. It's not like just random graphic. A box. Can you please elaborate on the strongest artifact from PvP comment? People are speculating widely here. <laughs> And that's what I just said. So strongest artifacts from PP mean that in PP activity, it will be possible to get artifacts no worse than in other game activities. So you can get the best gear in PVE or PP, depends on what you like to do. Eugenie answered on this question. I couldn't find the question, but I find the answer. On map exploration, there might be, but there might be, but at bare minimum, you can find great hidden farming spots, mob resource etc. So I'm not quite sure the first thing he answers, but the next thing he answers it is quite cool. Find great hidden farming spots, mob resources etc. So that means you can find some kind of a rare farming spots. Sounds pretty cool. And Eugene also answers on this one, and I was not able to find a question too here. Um, unchange an original plan in a way, the game evolves constantly while we see it better but overall initial vision stayed the same through the years. So I think he got the question, did, did the game process change a lot, like did you restart, re reboot the game? And he said, yeah, unchange an original plan in a way, but the game evolves constantly, we see it all entries vision stayed the same yeah so the overall vision is still the same as it was from day one so yeah again here i was not able to find the question but i find the answer um keep in mind that there was slow mode on in the chat so people were like asking questions and they could just end up like thousand steps up and then they suddenly answered on them and he answered abax on holding to pp it won't happen and it like to point out that core punk is not a pp focused game it is balanced in that way, both PvP and PvE players will find enough content to get lost in the game. Okay, so yeah, so Core Punk is a PvE focused game like World of Warcraft, but it also has PvP with a massive spectrum in it, and it will of course be fun and they will try to, you know, balance it as much as possible. So like in pretty much any other MMORPG. I just took the same picture twice. Dump. Madam J, will there be one server or multiple ones? And this one was the one I really had talked about a lot. And uh, Eugene answers on servers, multiple servers. So on this one with multiple servers, I'm like, hmm, okay, that's fine with me. But if someone plays on server A and someone plays on server B, will I be able to play with them, the people from server B? When I'm on server A, like, you know, World of Warcraft have, where they have this, this cross server thing, or will it be really server based? So people on this server can play with this server, people on this server can play with this server. I don't want to give any preference or anything. I'm just kind of asking, like, will we get cross server or is it not cross server? I'm just wondering. Wondering. This one is a good one from Lyova. How does the taunt system work? Do the tank specs gener more, generate more aggro with their attacks, or do we just press the taunt skill and good to go? And P-Shack, he answers, 
To be a good tank, taunt only, taunt only won't be enough. You will have to deal with a serious aggro management. Okay, so tanks in this game is going to be hard. It's not just taunting, you actually have to aggro management. Okay, that's fine. That's that's pretty cool. Crimson. Will we see many puzzle jump quests in dungeons to keep them interesting and very and very from constant combat combat? We saw the spinning blades in the trailer. On puzzle, we'll try to make all dungeons fun and difficult. I like that. I, I, th I think that's what MMORPGs are missing. They should have some fun puzzles and not just combat. Combat, 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 combat. We also want puzzles. Stony K. My question is the best looking cosmetics will be those received by progressing in the game or those that come from the other <laughs> money sources? <laughs> I see what you did. Many times on MMORPG's ranking is not enough and people like to have exclusive appearance. When you kill the harder boss or your biggest criminal on the game, that is the key. That is key. Stony K, on cosmetics I would say that both high level end skins you can buy and high end skins you can get in the game are somewhat similar, but they will not intersect. You won't be able to, to buy most of all the skins you you will you won't be able to you want to be able to buy most of all the skins you'll earn in the game so people will know guys with hard earned skins okay so you won't be able to buy most of all the skins but you will be able to okay so basically what he says is that there will be very awesome skins that you can get from only doing the best things in the game so like maybe mythic raid or something like that and then of course there will also be something you can buy from vendors and probably also cash but but you will be able to see easy who's the bad who's the guys who have done all the high-end things in the game that's pretty cool i like that i mean let's say i got a really good guild and we did the best raid or the strongest and i have a really cool set then every time i will be streaming for example everyone will be able to go into my stream and see oh, okay this guy he knows what he's doing like you know what i mean or just standing in the seat and just like you know who i am because you can watch my